everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 46, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Lords de Marvel. Okay. Let's see, who did they ban? Hercules, Kingpin, and Ghost. All right, not too terrible. And of course, Silk is globally banned as well as Void. But Hulk and Titania are ban immune. Cool, cool. All right, let's see what they got planned for us so we can plan our attack. All right, so ugh. he's an annoying defender anyway. He does not benefit from that uh, node, but he's annoying. So preferably I would use like a void or even a um, human torch. Um, but we'll see. Incinerate, maybe I will go in if I um, level up my uh, onslaught. He might be good for that. We'll see. Never used him, so. Now, this guy here is annoying, and he is a global defender. And I'm not well versed in fighting him. And this particular meta, the uh, attacker tactic doesn't seem to really help a lot. So having to deal with that unblockable and all of that mess, not going to be good. So I, I need to come back to that. But I can tell you, I won't be going in with Gallon this time. I'll be picking somebody that's a good option, maybe an attacker, a defender, but maybe not. We'll see. I got to think about that. Um, also, if you can take them out before they, um, you know, get all the root and, 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 and unblockable and everything, you'll be okay. All right. So here we go. Um, Viv Vision. Corvus can do that. And then, oh, Nick Fury. Really? That can be annoying. Um, hmm. That's a good one. But, oh, man. I'm thinking about this one now. Claire. See, he doesn't get an arm, uh, armor up, so it doesn't matter. Um, I don't have to worry about shock immunity or anything. So I can just bring in somebody that's, you know, good against him. Hmm. Let's see. Uh -huh. They put uh, Gore over there because Claire usually tears him up. Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Let's see. So, although Corvus can do that Viv Vision easily, um, so can Magneto. Let me see. Could I bring Magneto in? Is he good for anybody else? He might be good for... Yeah, he might be good for um, this Wolverine. We'll see. I might do that. So um, Magneto. And then I might bring in uh, Nick Fury. Yeah, Nick Fury might be a good um, a good option to bring in. Magneto, Nick Fury. And maybe. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. But Magneto uh, should be able to do Viv Vision, and I might get assigned to the Wolverine. We'll see. Um, hmm. My Archangel is not really ranked up, but he could definitely handle that Nick Fury, but... I'm going to, 
let's let's think about this one for a little bit. Magneto for sure. And then we will see who else I take uh take in here. Cause that Mephisto can be annoying. But I shouldn't have too much of a trouble with him. I'm trying to think of everybody that's incinerate immune. That Morbius I'm more concerned about, honestly. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we will be back and you'll find out how this war, well, continues. So Onslaught comes to war. This is the first war that I am using Onslaught. So you guys get to see him in action in my amateur hands. All right. Now, somewhat of a spoiler. I made a really bad mistake in this war. You guys may not see it yet, but it's coming. Anyway, this first fight is going to be against Mephisto. And I actually uh, went and used a three star onslaught against my Mephisto, six star uh, Mephisto. And I wanted to, you know, make sure that the incinerate aura and everything work kind of like um, Red Hulk, where I would not be taking any damage. And it worked. So I was full of confidence going into this fight. Now, keep in mind, I don't really know how to use him, right? But as you can see, we're going in. Everything looks okay here. Now, look at my health. I like that. I'm running the Recoil Masters, but I like that. Uh, I remember telling you guys in the Rank Up video, that's why I really got excited about him, okay? Look how long it was taking me to try to bait out his special one. All right, so you can see here, I'm just taking my time going in. You know, like I said, I don't really know. I remember doing heavy attacks, you know, caused a pause. But other than that, I couldn't remember. And then I was trying, look at this, he parried. He parried. This fight should have been over much sooner, but he parried me. But in any case, as you can see here, I'm just going in. Now I got that regeneration uh, prompt, so I know that I can now take him out. So here we go. Nice, nice. And yep, yep, hit him with it. And done. So pretty safe fight. And I'm thinking at this point, you know, I'm liking Onslaught. I do. I like I like um, the fact that I can run, you know, my recoil masteries. And as you can see, he's very friendly with it. Now, this fight, for some reason, I know what I need to do, but I almost always get hit. So I went in with Nick Fury. All right. See how I, I baited that out? All right. So I didn't get hit there. Right. And I'm watching and I'm waiting and I'm watching and I'm waiting. All right. So I go in like this. All right. We good. We good. And then all of that. Yep. That's exactly what I figured. But we good. Oh, and then that happened. So the other one I was expecting, but then that one, I was trying to bait out like I baited out the first one. So look at all that, man. There ain't no reason for all that. Boom, boom, bam, done. So didn't have to worry about the tactic or anything like that. Just used my Nick Fury and went in, just ignored all the rest of that mess, okay? Just accept that I'm gonna get hit and chose someone that can handle that. All right, so next fight is gonna be against uh, Viv Vision. Now, my thought going in here is that Viv Vision magnetized, I should be straight. Cause you know the bleed 
I get a 90% uh, reduction in bleed potency. Look at this. One hit, I got 10 bleeds on me. Another one. Look at my bleeds. This is the mistake I was talking about earlier. That is a terrible idea. So if you remember in the last war, it was reversed. I think uh, there was a future Ant-Man there and then a Viv Vision or later on. Okay. I had to call in for backup. I was so embarrassed. But yeah, I know better now. That was a bad idea because it doesn't matter your potency because she gets so many armor ups. And because of the node, every time you hit, you have a chance to get a bleed. A bleed per armor up. So you saw when I hit with a heavy, bam. I got 10 bleeds. Another one, bam. Another. There's no way. No way I could get her. Okay? Before I melt it. So we know now that fight, I'll probably have to just bring in um, either Corvus or um, maybe even Terax. We'll see. All right? Now, this fight here, I was thinking about it, but I wanted and i told him i was like i want that nick fury because i want to see how well he does now remember onslaught is a mutant so i'm already not going to be worried about you know his charges a whole lot okay so i'm just going in putting all them neuro shocks on him we good all right come on not too worried yeah Looks like a pretty straightforward fight. All right, here we go. Mm. Look at all that D-Gen. Just nasty with it. And new life. Now, I wanted him to actually throw an unblockable so I could block it with Onslaught. But then I was like, you know what? Let's just get this thing done. All right, pushed him again to a special two. So we don't even have to worry about the special one. And I was tempted here, but he threw his special. So I'm like, oh, you know, messed up now, A.A. Ron. Ooh, oh, just, mm, nasty. So, yeah, Onslaught is definitely a good option for Nick Fury. He might not be the fastest, at least the way I was using him. But he can handle Nick Fury. Now, we're not done. All right? Now we've got a mini. Now, I actually had uh, had two minis that I was going to get assigned to, uh, that I was assigned to. First one was Weapon X. The other one was a future Ant-Man uh, on a node uh, Boss Island. However, someone brought a better counter. And since my Magneto, who I was going to use, um, was knocked out, that just saved me having to revive and heal up and all of that good stuff. Okay. Now, I wasn't too sure about this one. You see, it's an incinerate shock, but he gets that minus 150%. So I'm like, okay, let's go in. Let's see what's going on. Okay. First, I was like, I'm not able to parry him, it seems. Okay. And there we go. And then I hit him because I thought that I could remove his unstoppable. I must have been reading something else. So I was like, okay. But even with that, now he's unblockable at this point. And I'm like, okay. Let's uh, not do that again. All right. Let's hit him with it. Woo, look at that DJ. All right. So now we like, oh, yeah. Bake that out. And by the way, every time you get hit with, I believe, an incinerate or a shock, you put um, Neuroshock on your opponent. So just this node was powering me up to do damage. And Weapon X is down. Yeah, I like uh, Onslaught. And the more I learn to use him, I think uh, the smoother the fights will be. This was my very first time using Onslaught in war. In fact, using him pretty much anywhere outside of Arena.
and the practice. All right, so we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Second war of the season, and if you look down, we are back in tier two. So despite my performance, we won. Let's take a look at the final score. Look at that. We died more than usual, and it just, yeah. This meta is horrible, okay? It is just horrible. Um, but that, that's, that's what uh, Kabam wanted to do, I guess. Uh, but we're getting used to it. We're adjusting. Uh, and as we, you know, win, we're going to be facing stronger defenders, harder defenders, that type of thing. So uh, we really got to, you know, get on the ball and get our deaths down. Anyway, that is going to do it. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.